Hi, I'm Jace, and I made the Cross Sections app. It's targeted towards anyone who wants to explore concepts related to cross-sectional geometry in a hands-on way. Let's take a look. The Cross Sections app uses augmented reality to convey some geometry concepts. It does this in two different scenes. Let's take a look at the first one, Sphere Volume, that shows us some objects. Since it's augmented reality, it requires some camera permissions in order to run as intended. We'll go ahead and close those instructions. You can read them at your leisure. You see how I can scan the environment and detect a plane. That will help with getting the virtual object place. Tap to place a virtual object. And you'll notice that this one is going to teach us a little bit about Archimedes sphere volume derivation. In the time of Archimedes, only formulas for the volume of a cylinder and the cone were known, but the formula for the volume of a sphere was unknown. In this visualization, you see a cylinder, some cones, and a sphere. Archimedes wrote about an insight in comparing the volumes of these three objects that allowed for the volume of the sphere to be determined. You can also see in this vi visualization a virtual slicing object at the top. It has like a transparent glass appearance. You can control its height with the slider bar on the left. Moving it allows us to visualize cross sections of a given, at a given height across all three objects. Just as Archimedes did, you can note that the cross-sectional area of these objects are related in the following way. The cross-section of the cylinder is constant. It is always a circle. It is equal to the sums of the areas of the cross-sections of the cones and the sphere. The decimal approximation of these surface areas is displayed at the top of the screen for convenience. I think the visualization is a great way to see this relationship. And remember, since it's augmented reality, we can walk around the object from different viewpoints. Let's take a look at the Discover Shapes scene now. Setting up the augmented reality environment is very similar. You scan to find a plane, tap to place an object, now this first object that you see is just a handle, like a tool. You can tap to select it. Notice that circle, the sphere around it for visualization that it's selected, and then pinch to zoom, two finger pinch to zoom, tap and drag to translate. Now the object that's translated is a set of 3D objects, very colorful. Let's see how we can interact with those. You'll notice that as we get close to any of these objects, there's a slicing plane that goes through each of the objects. The slicing plane hovers in front of our camera, of our real world device. Let's see how we can discover some 2D objects inside of these 3D ones. I originally envisioned the Discover Shapes mode more of a sequence of challenges uh, but I do like this mode as it is where you see a lot of objects at once and you kind of have to figure out which 2D cross section can be found in which 3D object. Now some are very simple. Let's take this target orange circle on the left and see if we can discover that inside of this blue sphere. As you'll note, each of these objects uh, the inside is the complementary color of the outside. We can continue all the way through the sphere out the other side and notice that we just see a uh, invisible shell of the sphere remaining. Now let's back out and try something else. Okay, this blue one is interesting. We see the cross section from the side is this yellow rectangle, which is another one of our target shapes. However, from the top, we'll notice that it looks like a circle. The real challenge, I think, comes from trying to find some of these 2D shapes which are not as apparent in the 3D object. For instance, let's go for this target shape that's a blue regular hexagon. Now looking around these blue shapes, the possible target looks like this icosahedron over here, 
but we find that inside it's red. So that's not our target shape. This green dodecahedron, the inside is magenta. So we can deduce by the complementary colors that our blue hexagon must be inside this orange cube. However, this cube looks very much like a set of squares, not much like a hexagon. Well, if we approach from just the right angle, we'll discover some surprising things. We note that approaching from here, we can see that a blue regular triangle emerges as we cut off the corner of the cube. As we zoom in farther and cut away more, we'll note that a blue regular hexagon appears. In fact, there's where the icon for this program comes from. The surprising fact that there is a hexagon inside of the hexahedron. The hexahedron being just another name for the cube. And that is just one of the many surprising facts that I hope that you discover as you play around and discover 2D cross sections within these 3D shapes. Have fun! To close out, I'll just show one more of these harder to find 2D cross sections. Let's try to find that pink square. As we zoom into this dodecahedron, we'll notice that we do get a pink square for your approach from just the right angle. Amazing. I would never have expected a square to be inside of the dodecahedron. And we'll see one on the opposite side too. Nice symmetry there. Well, the Cross Sections app, I'm publishing it on the Play Store, and until the Play Store version gets reviewed, it should be available on my website, jacemiller.net slash crosssection.apk. I'll leave a link in the description below. Thank you.